A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. Thus, we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. This desertion shows that none of them was our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you have all the knowledge. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is an alien to the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and all that fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with constancy. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become children of God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me. 
because he existed before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we are at the, at the end of the year, at the end of the month, at the end of the year. And so the readings are reminding us, well, the first reading is apocalyptic. It was during the era, and there were antichrist. There were people coming, uh, because that was the era of the Messiah. So people were coming saying they are the Christ. So there were many, many Christs, Jesus Christ. And there were many crosses. Many were crucified. Uh, but ours is still what we follow. There were so many people. But this particular one is still alive more than 2,000 years. You see, so this sometimes converts some of the Jews who still believe that the Messiah is coming. Okay. Because there were people, there were people. Going to history, there were people around that time claiming to be the Messiah. They killed them and that was the end. But this one. So in the Gospel reading, we hear how he was at the beginning. You see? So this is like um, the Genesis. You see, it's this is the genesis of the New Testament, if I may say that. You see, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God. If you go to the book of Genesis, in the beginning, the spirit of the Lord was on the altar and all that. You see, in the beginning, in the beginning. You see, so the God, what we are talking about. So he was there when the world was created. So it's just good to remind us that the one who came to be was is and will be. Now, concerning, uh, you see, all the troubles that you have, yes, he came and left. We are still having these problems. People come in the name, and they say so many things in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, and I also know, uh, they are happening today. Now, someone called me this week and said, ah, it's like the world is coming to an end. So I was laughing. I said, you think these are the worst things happening? The worst had happened before. But why are you, why do you want to know that the world is coming to an end? So if I tell you that the world is coming to an end, then you start doing what? You start preparing? Then I told her that, look, you are too late. You see, the world ends every day. So just be prepared. So that when it comes, you will not be found wanting. Whether it comes or not, do I mind? Then he said, you know what is happening now? Why are you saying that? I said, why? Let me tell you. It's going to be crude, eh? Now, please, bear with me. A pastor made a bra and a underwear panties uh, for those ladies who are looking for husbands. And the picture of the pastor is on it, okay? On the bra and then down. So you buy that and then you wear. When you wear, you get a husband. Good one. In Nigeria, anyway. So I've not seen that in Ghana as yet. So based on that, he said, it's like we are any song. Why would somebody buy that? I said, I don't know. I will not buy it. So I, I can't speak. You see, when you are a priest, they expect you to answer all kinds of questions. I said, I can buy it. I don't know why they will go and buy it. And then if you take it to the man, and the man sees that the pastor's picture is on the list. So what happens? I cannot think about that. My, I better use my brain for better things than thinking about such things. But you see, the Antichrist. But what is very important in this reading now, uh, the first reading, let me just... But you have... Um, 
Okay, those who are giving false information, okay? Uh, their desertion shows that none of them was our number. Okay, they were, they claimed to be of Christ, but their actions just eliminated them, okay? So that's what he's saying. But then he's saying, but you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One. And you all have knowledge. These are very important things. You have the anointing from the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. You have knowledge. You know. So I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you do. And because every lie is alien to the truth. So if you know, and then you pretend you are a liar, and it's alien to the truth, you are condemned. It's a very strong statement. And then, you see, when you accept this, you see, and you know that you are anointed and it's from the Holy One, what do you fear? You fear nothing. And you know, you have the knowledge. Don't say you don't know. Don't let that one come and tell you the truth. Why would I wear that thing to give me a husband? Then what about the men who are looking for wives? I don't know. You see? So, what? So you, 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 you have the knowledge. That's what he's saying. So if you believe certain things, it's up to you. Then what is your anointing? What is the Christ in you? This is the question. And it's a, a good reading to end the year with. So that we start a, a year full of grace. And I always love 1st January because it's dedicated to Mother Mary. We start a year with Mother Mary. Shall we rise? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole church, cherishing its anointing that comes from the Holy One, that with her leaders she may grow into all knowledge and truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that on this eve of the World Day for Peace, they may make and keep resolutions to uphold justice, life, and the dignity of each human person, creating the climate for true peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be many strong and enthusiastic souls who, like John the Baptist, give testimony to the true light which has come into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be among those who accept Jesus into our lives freely and fully, so that he may give us power to become children of God, shining in a darkened world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have need of our prayers today, that they may receive grace upon grace from the fullness of the Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved departed ones, that they may come to see God and the only begotten Son, who is at the Father's side in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.